In today's video, Barbara removes the life jackets from the cabin, I misuse a screwdriver, and our dinghy almost sinks. Hello, it is so good to see you again. Last week we started with the project and removed some flooring in the fossil. The plan for this week was to continue with the destruction. However, plans quickly changed when we found some water in the village. But more on that in this video. Hi, we are Daniel and Barbara. The last years we spent sail racing against the best sailors in the world. But we always had the dream to live on a traditional ship and sail the ocean. We bought a huge 82 feet ship in need of a serious refit. We want to restore her and convert her back into the beautiful sailing ship she once was. And now let's get started with the video. The plan for this week was to continue with the destruction of the fossil. However, we found a big problem. Again. Barbara woke me up to tell me that there is quite a lot of water in the bilge, which is a bit unusual because we emptied the bilge just 10 days ago and usually it takes more than a month until it refills again. So the first look was at the stone gland if the water is coming in there, but there was not a single drip of water. So the first step was to empty the bilge completely to have a better idea, a better understanding where the water is coming from. Yesterday we emptied out the complete bilge to see where the water is coming from and it were about 1200 liters in just 10 days and that's quite a lot and it is getting more and more every day. So now we really have to find out where the water is coming from. After we have emptied the bilge we uh, installed a hose to the pipe that is connecting the engine room bilge with the bilge and the saloon and we put the bucket underneath. First, to find out if the water is really coming from the forward part of the ship and second, to figure out how much it actually is. And we figured out that the water is coming from the forward part of the ship and we found that it's about 40 liters a day, which is quite a lot. We think the water is coming from the guest cabin, so we really need to have a look at the high there. We store most of those things elsewhere like in our guest cabin. The first step is to get rid of all the loose stuff inside of this cabin, like the mattresses or our life jackets. So we had a closer look at the bilge in the saloon and it seems like the water is coming from the starboard side of the ship, uh, the area of the guest cabin. So we thought about it and we found that we have strengthening bars on the side of the ship and at one point the strengthening bar isn't connected to the hull anymore and there is a gap and there is constantly water coming in and drying up again and coming in and drying up again. So that's a perfect way to convert steel into steel oxide and it is possible that the steel underneath this part just rotted away and that there is now water coming in. And on the other side of this uh, gap there is the guest cabin. So unfortunately we had to rip out the guest cabin to have a look at the hull and see if it's wet there.
Ripping things apart is always very interesting, because you feel almost like Indiana Jones digging through the history of the ship. And after we have removed the white plywood, uh, we found painted tongue and groove boards underneath, which are most likely from her time as a sailing ship. And when the artist bought her, he put the white uh, plywood on top of it. So we prefer the look of the tongue and groove boards, uh, but it would be really interesting for us to know what you think, so tell us in the comments down below. You probably wonder why we were masked all the time when we ripped things apart. Well, the ship was built 72 years ago and back in those days they used some hazardous materials like lead, uh, tar or asbest. And even if we're not sure if they used uh, these materials while building our ship, we think it's a good idea if we dig down to the isolation and to the hull coating it's a good idea to, to wear the masks and better safe than sorry. After we tear down the guest cabin and removed the bottom part of the cork isolation, we found much more rust than we would like to have found, but fortunately the hull was bone dry, so there was no water coming in there, so we have to find the leak somewhere else. And if you want to know where the leak is, then I think it's a good idea to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, because we will reveal it in one of the next videos. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. Actually, we found the leak just before we published this video. It is one of those stories you laugh about in the future. But right now, after about 70 hours of leak search in just one week, it is no fun at all. Please remember to leave a like. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.